So what? That's your get home bag? Yep. This is a tarp shelter and a poncho. You can carry your bag with you from last week to make sure you have plenty of water and other materials. And then, voila, you have the get home vest. Let me show you what's in it. So we have our chair here as the model for the vest. And this was actually a vest I've had for, gosh, maybe 18 years. Um, both my son and I had one of these photographer vests when we went to Borneo hiking. And it really came in handy for keeping bug spray and other items right at our fingertips. We actually used them quite a bit. Also comes in handy for keeping camera items, which of course is the purpose. Now let's look at each pocket individually. Go to that top. Very top here we have a little husky light. Nice and bright. And then we open up this flap. We have an emergency blanket. I vacuum packed it. And this is my duct tape wallet because it's duct tape that I can use, but inside is money, which could also come in handy. And what else is here? Oh. Okay. We have a variety of pills here. Imodium, Tylenol, Aspirin, and Benadryl. It's in a nice hard case so they won't crush. And the expiration date is labeled for each one. So that's it for this pocket. Now we kind of have a tiered series of pockets. And this top one. Ah. Here's quite a bit of Technora cord, which is rated up to 600 pounds. Let me just flip this. And it stores much easier than paracord. Back in there. So let's see what we got in the next pocket. It's got a little ranger band and some duct tape. That's it in that pocket. And what's in this pocket? Well, got some more ranger band, and this is fluorescent orange, maybe to mark a trail duct tape. And then we have some bank line. I think it's 320 pound. And then that extreme tape, which is supposed to be even better than Gorilla Tape. The bottom here, this is just a little crooked so that you can hang on the chair. But here, we have the emergency sole bivy. And, and in this pocket, a little bit harder to get it out. Whoa! goes and the radio turns on. Let me see here. So this little radio can run on solar power, can run on you know hand cranking, but I wouldn't depend on that. And of course batteries and it gets AM FM stations plus the weather channel and that can come in really important if you have a lot of hiking to do. Anything else? Oh, and this is just the instructions for the radio. We got a little zippered pocket right here. Let's see if we got anything in there. Oh, something big. Yep, it is my hiking first aid kit, and it has a lot of things anywhere from manuka honey 
critical care aspirin in case of a heart attack take it immediately to blister bandages and super glue betadine and a lot of band-aids first we have this zippered pocket up on the shoulder here there okay and we have an emergency whistle and you can pull it out comes back so you don't lose it anything else yep and you have some pepper spray could come in handy against people or animals now down to this packet And this is my hygiene kit. As you can see, it has Charmin to go. And there is a little shampoo, comb, one of those towels that you can make bigger, some soap, salt, salt. you might say why salt, but I can use that for toothpaste. Um, it has some pads and various other items. Again, nice idea to have for comfort. Also in that pocket, I have the pocket first aid kit, just in case something would happen. First, I think you can see we've got a Sharpie, a regular pen, and a pencil right here. Let me open this up. Again, um, not a necessity, but nice to have. Bug spray, Vicks Vapor Rub. I like that if I have a cold and some sunscreen and some hand sanitizer a little bag of tinder come in handy for a fire and my fire kit i have a ferro rod and a speedy sharp on the back that speedy sharp is really nice for throwing sparks Go inside. In the top I have a match striker and a little knife. And then I have guitar picks which are really great for tinder for starting a fire. Bic lighter. Some handy tinders. A little aluminum foil, nice as a base if the ground is wet or there's snow. And then we have a couple of trick birthday candles which come in handy if it's windy because the wind blows them out and they come right back on. Some fat wood, live fire, and two wet fires. And then one more thing. This is a neat little thing. It's a collapsible water bottle. And you just squeeze here and it will pop out. Can you see the bottom there? And you have a really nice water bottle. So here's the back pocket, very roomy pocket. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Adhesive body warmers, pretty important. If you live in Michigan in the winter, there's one of them, two, more. Yep. Three. There's also a little tiny, yeah, food's kind of the wrong word, more comfort. There's some salt and pepper, but there's one oatmeal packet, a couple hot chocolates, and a couple cup of soup. And Oops, not going to show this, but this is my insurance card and a copy of ID. I laminated it. And, it's, okay, that's the state I live in, Michigan. So it's a laminated map. And this is a county map. And 
And in this little pouch is a little mirror, magnifying mirror. Now you could use this, I suppose, if you're desperate to make a fire, but I actually need it very often for reading things on the map. My eyes are not what they used to be. Okay, there's more. Little notebook. Road atlas, if I was further than Michigan, I guess, to get home. An emergency SWAT tourniquet, which hopefully I would never ever have to use. SAS survival guide, give me something to read and something to reference. And then these are just little survival cards, like Morse code and stuff. And it's also another magnifying glass. Let me feel around. Okay, that's it for this pocket. If you combine this vest with this water container kit that I featured last week, you have a pretty powerful get home kit. And then if you cover it all with your shelter poncho, you've got your shelter and just about everything you need to get by. Now, if you're gonna be gone a long period of time, you might want to have some extra food bars to take but for most of us you can easily go a day without uh, eating I, in fact I do that regularly it's called fasting it's supposed to be good for detoxing your body and it's also good for discipline but you could always add a couple more food bars to your pockets if you need be okay not very attractive but hey it works and it holds a lot of gear and you can walk a long distance because it's not all that in your back. The weight is spread out. So, it's something that you should consider. Next week, we'll have another bag. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video and the series.